Hi, Ricky with Freedom Plumbers and Pumpers Septic and Drain coming to you from an inspection in Manassas, Virginia. We went ahead and inspected conveyance line, distribution boxes, and drain field lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the layout of the land and tell you what we found. Starting with the house. The house is located over there and I'm just showing you this for reference. House is there, septic tank is next to it. We didn't inspect it. There's a line coming from the tank up to this clean out and then to a, a splitter box and a D box. And that splitter box sends another line to another D box over there. And then from there we have the drain field line. So that explains the layout. Back in 2018, there was a minor upgrade to the system, which included replacing the conveyance line, which is the pipe between the septic tank and the first surge box. Then installing a D box right next to it and then installing another D box. Also replacing header lines, which are the pipes, solid pipes, as needed between each D box and their drain field line connection. Once you hit the drain fields, the drain fields themselves are originals. They were not upgraded back in 2018. I spoke with the installer. That being said, let's show you the boxes. Okay, so as we approach hole number one, Directly underneath my feet, right here, is a box. You can see it right there. That box has one line coming into it, one line going out and into this distribution box, and then another line going down over to that distribution box. Again, that's why it's called a splitter box. Water comes in and splits in two different directions. This distribution box is only a two port box, meaning that it only services two drain field lines. Both of these lines exit in the form of PVC, which are header lines, until they transition into their existing corrugated perforated pipe, which is used for drain field. For example, this is the transition PVC corrugated and then corrugated continues up to here. I can't go any further. Same thing happens with drain field line number two. It has a short piece of PVC until it transitions and it has a shorter run yet up to here. I can't get past that point. This is only approximately 15, 15 to 18 foot long. This span right here is 25 feet long. I'm supposed to be able to make it to 50 feet as per the plants. I'm supposed to have 50 foot lines. I can only make it up to 20. And both of those lines are highly saturated with mud. They're not saturated with water, but there is a lot of mud in them. Okay, they do need a cleaning. But most importantly, they should be able to go up to 50 feet as per the plants. Moving over to uh, box number two. Box number two is a little bit bigger. Instead of only having two lines exiting, it has four. So here it is, you got one coming in and then one, two, three, four lines coming out. Now I inspected every single one of those lines all the way up to as far as the camera could go. A good line would allow my camera to make it all the way to the bedrock or the, the bed of gravel. That is the end of each one of those lines. A good line will let me do that with minimal resistance. Until maybe I get far, then I have to really slam that camera in because the pipes are supposed to be flat, perfectly flat. It looks flat, but it's really two inches per 100 feet is what it should have in grade. That's like nothing. So anyways, what ended up happening? We're gonna go ahead and count these lines counterclockwise. Line one, line two, line three, line four. That's actually clockwise. Sorry for that. Line one, two, three, and four. Starting with line one, it exits as PVC, transitions to corrugated and collapsed right here. Pam, I can't go any further. I'm supposed to continue another 30 feet, 30 or 40 feet. Can't go any further, collapsed. Line two, line two exits. Sorry, I lost my video. Line two exits, comes out as PVC and then goes all the way down to the end. I'm actually able to make it to the end in that line. A little bit dirty, but no issues whatsoever actually the best line in the system line three exits as pvc transitions to corrugated piping let's see 
corrugated piping and then continues all the way down to its end it is 100 percent saturated uh with uh with effluent 100 percent holding from the transition all the way back to the box and i'll show you what that marking looks like here it is we have a white flag with the letters sat hopefully they're legible sat for saturated same thing with line four now somebody worked on this one not sure who but it wasn't the last contractor who was here in 2018 uh that comes out all the way around in the form of corrugated piping this piping this install is not all that pretty i'll be frank with you the pipe is supposed to be flat evenly all the way out on a two percent grade meaning two inches per 100 and what's happening is that the pipe dies and goes up and dives and goes up and dives and holds water and saturation all sorts of stuff so all the way down to there so yeah so that what's supposed to look like is my camera should be inside of a tunnel that's depending on the type of material is either pvc or corrugated tunnel and my camera should see nothing but air and air air and pipe and that's it all the way down to the end and this pipe that's not what happens this pipe is like this all the way down and in the dips there's actually standing water up to about 30 feet into the line and then all of a sudden i'm completely underwater so lines five and six which in this box is actually lines three and four the bottom two lines are holding water so that's what we got uh nothing has failed the drain field pretty much has to fall under classification as not working properly uh there is some some things to be concerned about there should never be standing water inside any of these pipes it should always be dry which would indicate that the drain field is functioning properly this drain field being installed in 1990 is now 30 years old. The lifespan of an average drain field is about 20 years. So it is now, we're now at a point where we have to try to make things expand or extend in life. All right, so at this time, per health department classification, the drain field is not functioning properly, but it has not failed. A failure would mean that sewage is on the ground. Okay, now some bit of good news is I did perform a 20 minute hydraulic load test. And what that means is I ran water from the house into the system for about 20 minutes, trying to see if I could stress the system to the point of backup. It should never happen. If the system is working properly, it wouldn't back up. It would take on the load and keep on just fine. Good news is the field did take on the load. No backups whatsoever. This box being the one that takes on the most load that box taking on a considerably lesser load so its splitter box is dialed in such a way to distribute the loads not evenly but lesser on the higher and more on the lower most likely because they knew that the top lines were shorter and the bottom lines are much much longer so anyways that's what we got with that i complete this inspection report i will be backfilling all of these items right now and i'll be sending you a written report as well as this video Again, my name is Ricky Salinas. I'm with Freedom Plumbers and Pumpers, Septic and Drain. My phone number is 703-895-4109 with an email address of ricky at freedomplumbers.com as well as a website of www.freedomplumbers.com. Thank you very much. We'll catch you on the next time.